In this problem, we're looking at this, these uranium ions that are moved through this voltage difference, and then um, they move through a magnetic field in this circle. Um, the machine is able to produce 1.26 milligrams per hour, and we're going to try to figure out these three different questions. First, what is that magnetic field? Um, in order to do that, we're going to use the radius equation. And we're going to say that R is equal to MV divided by QB. And we can kind of rearrange that and just say B is equal to MV divided by QR. And uh, we should be able to figure this out. But we have to figure out what the velocity is as well. Um, so to do that, we need to use the potential difference here. Because we kind of know that if we have... Um, Q delta V, then we'll actually figure out what the kinetic energy change is. So with that in mind, let's multiply this voltage, 140 kilovolts, times the charge, which is this 3.2 e to the negative 19 coulombs, and we should be able to get the kinetic energy. So it should be 140 to the third there, times 3.2 19, getting 4.48 to the negative 14, and this would be joules for the kinetic energy. And uh, if we're going to rearrange this equation, we can say that uh, k equals 1 half mv squared, so, you know, 2 ke divided by m of the square root is equal to the velocity. That's what we can plug in over here. We can kind of say that b is equal to... Uh, m divided by qr, and then there's this whole square root of 2ke over m situation. And then we'll be able to figure out what the magnetic, what the magnetic field is. So let's try that. We've got the mass is 3.92 to the negative 25. And we'll divide that by the q, which is 3.2, negative 19, and the r, which is 1.31. And then we'll multiply this whole thing by the square root of 2 times um, kinetic energy, um, which is this, plus times 4.48, negative 14, and divide that by the mass, which is that 3.92, And yeah, so that should give us this uh, 0 0.447, uh, tesla right here for the magnetic field and now we can take a look at the current well the current is supposed to be q over s right so we've got um we've got this happening here 1.26 milligrams per hour that this is pumping through here so let's try to convert this into Q over S. How many milligrams? Okay, we're gonna get 1.26 milligrams, and um, this is coming out per hour, but we're gonna go ahead and try to convert this to kilograms per hour. So we're gonna multiply this by, uh, let's see, we got 1,000 milligrams down here, and then one gram, and then we can do that again, 1,000 grams and one kilogram. So if we do that on the calculator, we'll get 1.26 uh, divided by a thousand, divided by a thousand, that should be 1.26 e to negative six kilograms per hour. Now, if that's how many kilograms going out per hour, let's figure out uh, how many units, how many actual uh, ions of uranium are coming through that. We can divide that many kilograms by this much mass, and we'll figure out how many uh, the number of ions and the number of units that are going through here. 1.26 to negative 6, divide that by 3.92 to negative 25, gives us, you know, uh, 3.2 to 18 ions. That, that's, that's per hour. Now let's convert that to seconds. And um, so we're going to take the hour and basically just, uh, that's, that's 3,600 seconds. So we're going to divide this number by 3600, and we get um, that many units per
per uh, per second. And we're not quite done yet. So we've got 8.9 units per second. And it's actually to the 14th, U 14th. But anyway, we're going to do this, and then we're going to multiply it by the charge. So times 3.2 negative 19, which will give us a charge of the current here. Or this is um, units per second, but we're going to multiply that by the coulombs on top, so that way we get coulombs per second. So this is all about unit conversions. Like you got to really pay attention to what's happening in the units. <laughs> we have 0 0.000. You know, uh, two, eight, five, seven. So you could convert that to uh, uh, two, two, eighty-five point seven uh, to the negative six coulombs per second is going to be the current. All right. Now for thermal energy in one point three hours. So let's go back to our unit conversions. We have volts times amps equals watts. If we're trying to figure out like thermal energy in 1.3 hours, um, that's basically joules per second, um, which is watts. So we gotta figure out what our current was, which was the amps, which is this thing, and then the volts that we had, which was this. So we'll multiply those two things together. That's gonna be 140 uh, kV times our current, which is two, 85.7 negative 6. That's going to give us the watts that we have. The wattage. And um, we uh, we want to know we want to know how many joules of kinetic energy in that many hours. So we're going to have to take the wattage, which is joules per second, and multiply it by the seconds. We're going to be left with the joules remaining. That's how much energy it is. So we're looking at joules here. Um, so if we take the watts and multiply it by the 1.3 hours, then we're going to get rid of the seconds. 1.3, but we should also multiply that by 3600 because that's how many seconds there are in the, uh, in the hour. And, uh, so yeah, so we get 187, 190 joules after 1.3 hours. That's because, uh, yeah, so that's the wattage, not much time. So yes, yeah, so we're now we're doing all these unit conversions. Hopefully that made a lot of sense.